Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the UNLV VPN. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the VPN. So to do that, you go ahead on Google and type in UNLV VPN and then click on the first link, which should say VPN Private Network or manually go in into this URL of uh, www.it.unlv.edu slash VPN. So once you're here, you can go ahead and read about what a VPN is, what you should be using it for, what you should not be using it for, and something to point out is that if you are a student, faculty, or staff, then you automatically have access to the VPN. So, however, if after you do all of this, you run into issues, you can file a ticket by clicking this link, which will open a page and allow you to request a service. Uh, and then you can go ahead and speak to OIT about your problem if you're unable to log into the VPN. But for now, I just want you to go ahead and click on the bottom link here, which says download for the client VPN. Uh, for the client is the uh, program that UNLV uses for their VPN. So just go ahead and click there and that will bring you to a product download and free tiles page. What you want though is you want to click here where it says for the client VPN only. So click on that and that will give you the list of uh, the different versions of the VPN software. You will download the one based on the operating system that you have. So like Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Uh, there's also uh, the VPN available for mobile devices you can uh, download them from here. I don't know if it's on the App Store, but you can open this on your phone and download it directly this way. Uh, although I think, yeah, so this opens up an App Store. Yeah, so they're on the App Store. But I would encourage you to use this link to get there instead of searching for them, because you want to make sure that you download the authentic version of that. So another thing you might see is if you ever have technical issues with the VPN, you can open this page and sometimes you get a little pop-up here that will tell you if there's an issue with the VPN. So if you click on that, for example, it will give you a message like this, which will say like, you know, the VPN is not from what is expected on Apple iOS devices. So if you run into issues, check first for any notices and then go ahead and request a ticket. So once you go ahead and download, so in my case, you know, I can download the Windows version of this, then you will go ahead and install that. So just follow through installation prompts on your operating system. And then you're going to get something like this. Uh, you will not have this here, but you need to add a connection. So to add a connection, you can click these three dots and click add a new connection. Because I already have one, I'm just going to click edit so you can see the settings. I'll go ahead and name it anything you want, but I recommend you call it UNLV VPN so you can recognize it uh, against other VPNs you might have. And then for remote gateway, please type in secure.unlb.edu. Custom port 443, enable single sign-on, SSO for VPN tunnel. So make sure these two things are checked and then these two are not checked and then hit save. I'm not gonna hit save because I already have it set. And then to log in, just go ahead and click here. What's gonna happen when you click here is, is you're gonna actually get your Canvas login or password, uh, username and password requested. You go ahead and put those in. Then it's gonna ask you for a two-factor authentication code. You go ahead and do that, and then you'll be connected to the VPN. And the way you confirm that is because you can look at the bottom right of the uh, computer and see their VPN connection. Plus this will also give you a little message to confirm that. And then you're connected. If when you try to log in using your Canvas ID, uh, username and password, you fail to do that, that's when you go back and you file a ticket. And that's all there's to it. Once you're connected to the VPN, all your, your traffic is going to be uh, routed through the VPN, uh, which if you feel uncomfortable in terms of privacy, then make sure that you only use the VPN when you need to. If you are a CS student, you may be using the VPN to connect to a server to be a SSH or your SCPing a file. So just be aware that any traffic, so if you open up a browser and watch YouTube, all that traffic is going through here. I don't know what the policy is in terms of privacy for that. So just be aware of that. Uh, there are ways to only use a VPN for specific ports, but that's beyond the contents of this video. Uh, by doing things like that, then you can only limit the VPN traffic to go to those ports. So for example, again, for a CS student, if you're using port 22 SSH connection, you can only use a VPN for that port, and then the rest of the internet, per se, is not going to use a VPN, and then you regain your privacy, per se. Uh, interesting, I say that because typically you use a VPN to protect your privacy, right? Uh, the idea being that traffic is now going from your computer to the VPN and then to the internet. So the internet doesn't see where the traffic is coming from, they see just the VPN. So that's typically why people tend to use VPNs. In our case, the reason we're doing that is because we want you to connect to the VPN at UNLV first as a security measure, and then you're inside the UNLV network, rather than having an external uh, direct connection from outside the network, which could create a cybersecurity incident if 
it's one less layer of protection per se. Uh, I think that's all I want to say in terms of VPN. But uh, if you have any questions, just please reach out, not to me, but to OIT using that service ticket. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.